many of our clients are asking us, what is the what is the big deal about big data and how should they be thinking about it? And actually what we want to do is we want to pivot the discussion from a discussion about data to a discussion about the decisions. Because really, if you think about a company um, and their customer facing decisions, all the way from the way they acquire customers, the way they manage those customers, the way they service them, every one of those decisions that they make is embedded in a decision process. And all of them are candidates for to be improved with analytics. Similarly, the operational decisions that companies make, the supply chain decisions, the routing, the logistics, all of those operational decisions are also candidates for analytics. So we want to start first with what is the decision we're trying to improve. And then we need to think about what is the value of a better decision. And think about that in different terms. So for example, an insurance company that has underwriters who are spread out around the globe, how do they know if an underwriter in Australia is thinking about the risk uh, that they're underwriting in the same or in a similar fashion as an underwriter in the UK? So analytics can be used in these complex decision processes to um, codify the decision logic of the best decision makers, which leads to more consistency. And for an insurance company, if they could just take a little bit of the variability out of the decision making process in these highly judgmental expert-based decisions, it would have enormous, enormous value for them. And it's not just about better decisions, it's also about the process in which the decisions take place. So if you think about a collections process, for example, accounts come into that process um, and they get handled by various collection agents. And if we could just simply apply an algorithm on the front end of it to sort those accounts into, say, red, yellow, and green, where the red ones, we know we have low probability of collecting, so we just send them immediately out to an external collections agent. The green ones, we know, are fairly simple, so we can put those through some kind of automated, straight-through process. And the yellow ones in the middle are the ones that are left for our more human-based and uh, labor-intensive decision process. When we do these very simple things and we adjust the process to take advantage of the analytics, uh, we often find companies can cut costs by 15 to 25 percent. And since these major customer-facing decisions um, are, in effect, uh, the cumulative total of the decisions that are made across these functions really drive the profitability of a company. You can think about analytics this way as being a very, very important lever for companies to improve their competitive performance.